Today, we're gonna be installing all sorts of electrical stuff to try and get shore power and AC electricity in the boat. We got all sorts of goodies. We'll see what happens. First thing we gotta do is install this smart plug. We think we wanna put it somewhere over here. That looks like a great spot. Oh, well, for one. First fail right there. Drilling into a stud. There's no way that's gonna work. I wish I wasn't an idiot. Wonder if I could just bore it out. Oh yeah, that's not good. Ow. <laughs> oh, perfect. Just like that. In order to wire up the back of it, you gotta pull out that little screw in there to get access to the wires. You gotta patch that hole. God, I'm so stupid. I just installed this backer board to mount everything on. I had to cut out this little notch right here. Cut that. And cut out that so the wires can come out and start going to whatever they gotta get to. You gotta figure out where to put everything. It's a train wreck right now. But the back panel needs to get installed like this. It needs four inches of clearance. Seems pretty solid. Now it's time to get the multi plus. Gonna have to do a bunch of wiring down there, which is gonna suck. We need like four inches of clearance up top here. We got about four and a half, four and a half there, four there, nice and level. <laughs> Smart. Now we got to install a galvanic isolator because the wire's going to come in from there up to the galvanic isolator because galvanized <laughs> stuff needs to get isolated. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to go into here so you can turn it on and off. Then it's going to go down under to there. That's where all the AC electricity should be flowing in. I'm just going to go ahead and mark these holes and hold it oh. Oh, 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 oh. everything is ready to be galvanically isolated this random board that i just picked out of my brother's garage and a line down it we need to be four inches away from the multi plus and this line is perfectly four inches away it's destiny. Coots isn't here today because he's working. I texted him to bring me a Red Bull and a pizza. I'm starving and I haven't eaten anything all day. So we'll see if he is actually a hero or just a deadbeat. I'll put this thing like this. It seems like I should install these things because that looks like it's going to be a pain to do if it's up there. It goes right through there. Try and only punch out the skinny one instead of the fat one. Because if I do the fat one, this thing's just gonna go right through and it's gonna be worthless. Time to bust out. Extraordinary kindness. Tool set. I'm just gonna try and tap this thing. I'm being a little too kind. Ooh, there we go. All right. Getting a little less kind. Cause I'm getting pretty hangry. Cause I haven't eaten. Hope to God Coots brings me a pizza and a Red Bull. Like a good friend. That's not what you want. This one is not going so good. Ah! These things are sitting next to me the whole time. I'm gonna try and salvage this thing by doing that. Oh. <laughs> Great. Much better. Now this little gasket thing's not gonna work right. It's a little flimsy, but look at the boat we're building. Oh yeah, that's that's professional right there. That noise you hear in the background is Cooth probably texting me, telling me that he's not gonna bring me a Red Bull and a pizza. I'm jittery, because I'm starving, and Cooth gets off work way too many hours. I'm not going anywhere. Counting the seconds till Cooth gets here with a Red Bull and a pizza for me. Oh, he better. Getting hangry. It's 2.36 and Coots gets off work at five. Starving and fading fast. Trying to get this all done for tomorrow because we got a big day planned. Bone dust. And Fado might be coming out, which should be fun. Our batteries don't really last a long time now. They've seen way too much action. So we're trying to get this hooked up so that way we can plug in a generator to the back. Come on, I gotta get wires from here and then put the green wire through there, and then I'll go through here, and then they go down over to here. Let's see if I can figure this out. I found a package. What did we get? 
Some more GoPros, more cameras, adapters and light mods, a grip battery thingy. Doing it all for you. Hopefully I don't cut myself or cut this wire in a stupid spot because this stuff is really, really expensive. I am so hungry right now. I hope the God Coots saves the day. <laughs> gotcha. Now we got three individual wires, ring grade stuff. That means it's triple the price. Strip these things back five eighths of an inch. My handy dandy wire strippers don't fit. God, this stuff is like wrestling a snake. Ta da! There we go. Oh, that's pretty nice. They have it color coded. Oh, this is stupid. I'm just gonna rip it out. Now we can just grab this thing and put it in here much easier. And then just thread the cord back through over there. What the hell did I touch? Ugh. Oh, I think it's grease from the. Man. Oh, Lord's gonna kill me. Clamp this guy down tight. Oh. Tug test, tug test, tug test. Ta da! I am so mad at myself. I wrenched my arm pretty good. <laughs> right on there. So if I get tetanus, you heard it here first. Blood, sweat, and tears. Quite love this grease. Oh man, there's a bunch of it. Thank God I'm wearing a napkin. Boom, perfect. Except for this. Watch out for those. And here's my coiled up cable. 2.36 and Coots gets off work at five. Hopefully he brings me uh, a pizza and a Red Bull. Frustrating I'm things when you're starving, when you're hangry, fading fast. Getting hangry. God, I'm hungry. I hope the so God comes bring me a pizza and a Red Bull. Starving, good friend. Pretty Save hangry. a Red Bull and a pizza for Bull. me. Oh, you better. Starving. Here's so pizza, pizza right hat. now. Maybe a Red Bull, I don't know. Oh. Coots just saved the day. He showed up, brought the Red Bull. Brought two pizzas. I'm gonna eat one by myself. Probably have the other. <laughs> I am fired up. Coots is here. Got 300 times more energy. Right. I'm filming in here. <laughs> All right, first video, new camera. Wonderful. With light mod, lighting stuff up. Yep. Got any words to say? Please don't point that light in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he can see. That's bright. <laughs> oh, that one of your gold. <laughs> we got turf wars. Ducks versus geese. Uh -oh. Come on, ducks. Why something smell like it's burning? <laughs> Nothing's plugged in yet. <laughs> we gotta run more cables from the bottom of these breakers down over to here. I doubt I'm gonna be able to finish tonight, but there's always tomorrow while we're cruising. Bone dust. Just out here working. I think we got this thing wired decently. And we're gonna hang it up and try and run the generator. This thing might snap at me. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> In theory, I should be able to hit this switch and this thing's gonna light up. Where's the light? Oh, there's a power button on here actually. There we go. I could have swore I saw a light back there when I flipped the switch like it was a spark or something. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> now we can hook up a generator since it's raining and crappy out. Smart hook. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be working pretty good. No fires out. You can get up here and see what these solar panels are looking like. Scratched all out. Scratched up. It's another hot and steamy one today. Got the air conditioner going. I got the extension cord going through this little gap right here. Today I'm gonna be working on all the AC electrical. That way we won't have to run an extension cord out here. I got this line run from over here 
put these on. The idea is to make like a backrest to the bench. I'm gonna have like an outlet in the backrest. Just finish this little box. Install this outlet right here. All four boxes wired up. The last thing to do, wire them all to this thing. Wire that thing to this thing. Like this, like this. Made two bus bars to go kind of like this. <laughs> Didn't turn out bad. I just took one on the knee super hard, and I think that is my skin right there. I'm so close to being done without bleeding. So I got everything wired, except for the actual big cable that goes from here to here. That's what this monster is. So I just gotta route it on up, jam it in there, and then hook it into there, and then uh, try and fit it all back in there. Just sliced my palm open with that thing. Those are some good looking cables right there. Making the final cuts for the wires for the electric thingamajig. And then something or another good happens. <laughs> Hopefully we don't light on fire. <laughs> now I just gotta hang it up and test it. If you like that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and all that fun stuff. So I think that when I turn that thing on, it's gonna make everything live. Or dead. Yeah. You want to get a fire extinguisher out just to, oh, thank you. <laughs> you, want, you want to throw that switch? <laughs> Is that this thing? It's so oh, fun. Oh, it's a fan. Oh, it's a super tense moment and then it's a random noise. <laughs> scary, man. <laughs> Oh, we got lights. AC main. I feel like Jurassic Park. I feel like this thing should be green. Man. Do this. Ha <laughs> ha! It was these things. See, aren't you glad you did that thing that I told you to do? To no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He did not say that off camera. <laughs> it's me, I'm the smart one, everyone. I can't believe it works. That was the plan, right? Uh, yeah, but <laughs> I don't smell fire, knock on wood. This view is kind of cool, too. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Because it looks. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we blew up you. Damn it! Oh, that is so frustrating. We got the fuse sorted out, but you might have noticed that we changed the batteries over halfway through the video. So click on this video right here, and thanks for watching. Oh! This is so sweet.